What is going on you guys? Kevin here in the Humble Garage and I just got home from uh, detailing a Mustang. I've worked on a lot of Mustangs here recently and I also did a uh, headlight restoration on his pickup truck. I'll have some pictures on the screen and stuff so you can admire my work or whatever. Anywho, um, just got all my detailing supplies unloaded and whatnot and I got an email from Cobb. Shout out to Andrew at Cobb by the way. He is extremely helpful and honestly answered all my questions. Got me a Pretty darn good military discount, just a stand-up dude. So anyway, uh, I got my DSG upgrade that basically adds DSG flashing functionality to the ECU flashing functionality that's already, hey, it's me, that's already in the Cobb access port. So now I'll be able to tune my motor and my transmission, which is awesome, uh, especially because I just got all the parts that I need to go stage two. And, you know, I got to practice what I preach. I did make a video uh, talking about necessary supporting mods and a DSG flash is mandatory. If you have a DSG car, if you have the manual, you need an upgraded clutch because you are going to be producing eh, around 360, 370 wheel torque and over 300 wheel horsepower. So the stock uh, clutch or DSG just doesn't really have the clamping force that it needs to uh, handle that kind of heat. So enough jaw jacking and lip smack and I'm gonna go upstairs, plug this into my laptop uh, or actually my desktop and show you guys how to uh, upload the tunes into there and then we'll come back down here, flash it, and it's pretty cold and dark right now and I've had a long day, so I don't know if I'm gonna take the uh, initial test drive today or if I'll do a driving vlog tomorrow um, talking about how the DSG tune stacks up. I mean, it's a $400 uh, upgrade, so it better be pretty damn good. Uh, I think with my discount, it was 340 or 360. Uh, either way, that's a nice little chunk of change off the uh, back end, so pretty nice. Got to wash my microfibers that I used today. I think I got some buffer pads that also need washing. So, um, yeah, also I did mention I'm going to make a separate video on how to properly wash microfiber towels. I've been detailing for four and a half years professionally, and you cannot wash microfiber towels how you launder your other um, laundry. They just, you'll ruin them. So I'm going to make a separate video on how to properly wash and dry your microfibers. Alrighty, so if you buy a brand new access port, you can opt for the optional uh, DSG tune. It's an additional $400. However, if you are an existing Cobb access port owner, like I am myself, this is the process that you need to go through. And by the way, Andrew, very helpful man. So you need to send your full name, phone number, billing address. Uh, if you want a military um, discount and you are active duty, a little picture of your military ID, the uh, original serial number, I'll show you where to get that and the uh, serial number sticker, I'll show you where to get that. And then you need to send a diagnostic file, which I'll show you how to send that. Uh, you send those bad boys over, then they, and, and then you pay your invoice. They'll send you a personalized invoice. You pay that directly through the email, and then uh, you'll get a receipt, of course, and you will get a um, an upgrade code, which you uh, upload a file into Access Port Manager, upload that into your Access Port, plug that in your car, upload the file, and you can tune your DSG. Sorry, it's a little smoky in your day, just hit the vape. Anyway, got my access port plugged into my PC over here. By the way, I have another YouTube channel that has like 1,400 subscribers. It's monetized, it's my larger YouTube channel, it's a gaming channel, I also do tech reviews, uh, and news revolving around the gaming community, shit like that. Check it out, link in the description below. Anyway, so I had this plugged in, you're gonna need an application called Access Port Manager. Just Google um, Cobb AP Manager and you'll have it for both iOS and Windows. So these are all the maps that I currently have on my on my access port. It might look like a lot, but I'm probably gonna delete a few of them because a lot of these are just um, older versions. So each time you get an update, it keeps the older map in case you like that one more and then you get a new one. So like I've got you know, two versions of the IS 38, 93 octane tune. So I'm just gonna delete the older maps. Uh, you can also add maps through here, but anyway, uh, AP info, and then you're gonna be able to get your uh, vehicle information as well as uh, you're gonna need these two numbers. This is the sticker serial, and this is the original serial. That's an eight digit, and this is a 10 digit. You will need to send that into Cobb in order to get your your file, then you're also gonna click right here, get diagnostic file. 
It'll take about two minutes, it produces a zip file, and you're gonna send that in the email as well, and you'll be good to go. Pay the invoice, they send you your, your upgrade code. All right, so in the email here, I'm gonna go ahead and download the key. I'm going to save it in a new folder. I'm just gonna call DSG. All right. Now I'm going to, my access port's already connected. I already have the latest version of access port manager and the latest firmware on the access port. From within there, go to options. Actually, let's put this on my top monitor here so we can follow along down here. So we are going to go to the options menu and then go to advanced. Change access port license. Now we are going to upload that file that we just got. DSG, it's got the key, open it up. Feature update successful, your access port will now restart. Click OK. My access port just cut off, it's about to reboot with its little startup screen with the badass GTI on there. Fantastic car, absolutely love it. All right, so good to go. So now we got to plug it into the car and we'll do all that good shit down there in the garage. All righty, back down here in the garage, you're gonna take your keys with your zero to 100 real quick key tag, link in the description below. Access port is, <clears throat> excuse me, identifying the ECU. In order to do that, you will need to turn on the car, not the engine, but you wanna turn on uh, the second second click on the key, you know, where all the accessories turn on and whatnot, where you can roll up the windows and all that other good shit. Now, make sure your headlights and your HVAC or AC is turned off. That way you won't drain your battery. Oh, geez, I hit my wipers. Because it's raining game, apparently. All right, so anyway, you go down to Tune and you're gonna have a new option available. Install the DSG, install to DSG. <clears throat> Click that. All right, it's identifying my DSG. So there's a separate computer in this car for the transmission, obviously. Yes. All right, cool. So it's already installed. Now you have these different maps here. You have aggressive IS-38, aggressive OEM plus sport and simulated stock. So I'm going to make a separate video going over all the features of, you know, what these do and whatnot. Um, but I'm going to put on the aggressive. All right. Just saying if you have a tune from another company, um, it could fuck up by flashing it with this, but yeah. And then that second menu that popped up is just telling you to hook up to a battery tender. Um, I'm not going to do that. I have one, but not necessary. The car is not going to take that long to flash the data. All right, it's doing its thing. You're going to see a bunch of air lights pop on. Same thing as when you flash your ECU. Oof, maybe this might take a while because it is the initial flash. I'm pretty sure if you change DSG maps after this, it'll be a lot quicker, but usually the initial install takes quite a while, so hopefully my battery doesn't die. Oh, there it goes. Now we're cooking with that peanut oil, boys. It's going real quick now. I'm flashing. I'm using my GoPro now because my main camera just died. Turn the ignition to off, then turn it back to on, and then press OK. It's gonna clear any trouble codes, and then we're gonna take this for a quick spin, even though it's late and cold and I'm tired. Sweet. And then you gotta wait 15 seconds before turning the vehicle on. Hell yeah. Alrighty boys, heading out for a quick initial impressions of the new DSG tune. So one thing I noticed immediately, um, when you're in drive, you now have a gear indicator right there. It says D1, D2, really cool. So just driving in uh, drive mode right now. And 
it's definitely holding gears longer in drive mode because before it would uh, shift at about 2,000 RPMs. So now it doesn't do that, which is pretty cool. Holy shit. Wow. I, I don't know if my DSG was slipping before or what, but um, it has a lot more clamping force uh, for sure. Like the DSG is clearly, clearly, clearly got a lot more clamping force, which is really good to be able to get that power down. Holy shit. Wow. Holy fuck, dude. Um, it's amazing that flashing the transmission can make a acceleration difference like that. Uh, let's go ahead and put it in sport. So now we're in S3. Hopefully my steering wheel is not blocking what I'm talking about um, on the heads-up display. Wow, dude. Oh, I should probably have my, my monitor on. Definitely have that on if we're doing a spirited drive, right? It feels like it shifts a lot more precise too. Um, like the DSG doesn't waste any time. It was quick before, it's faster now. Feels good, feels really good. All right, let's put it in manual mode. Shifts are very quick. So now apparently it won't yeah, see that? Okay, so right there, if, if I full throttled it last time, uh, what would happen would be, see, it would uh, it would drop me down in a second, which is, you know, I'm in manual mode. I want to be able to choose my own gear. So um, I think it, it doesn't force downshifts at all. So if you get down to a low enough speed to keep the car from dying, it will downshift for you just to make sure that you don't fucking kill the car. See about these shifts. Holy fuck, dude. That is awesome. Shifts are a lot more precise. Um, man, dude. I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, this is just, you know, my first drive. It's gonna take me a few weeks to fully understand everything that it's doing. Uh, I'll be able to tell, you know, previous shift points that are now changed, stuff like that. But uh, overall, it just feels really nice, really tight. Shifts are absolutely instantaneous. Man, this thing rips. Back into sport, see how it shifts on its own. Thus far, I'm very impressed with this uh, DSG tune, though. Get on those brakes. Man. So yeah, between having a gear indicator on there, um, the tighter clamping force so you can handle more power. That was the main reason I did it is because I'm about to go stage two. Um, the new shift points, so in drive, it's gonna increase your fuel efficiency. In sport, it's going to increase the aggressiveness for you know, keeping the turbo in its spool range. Um, they also have a separate tune for the IS38 to keep it in the optimal ranges for uh, that turbo. I'm on the IS20 currently, uh, boo hoo. But um, put it in sport. Yeah, so usually when I click between sport and drive, it would shift gears, but I think it's it's holding the same RPM there. Man, that's awesome, dude. I'm loving it. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. Um, I'm getting my downpipe and my wheels and tires delivered, so that is going to be fucking dope. Oh my God. Well, my street's right here, but I really don't feel like pulling in. We're going to keep going. Man, I keep pulling off the throttle just because I don't know if any cops are out tonight. I guess I should just trust in my, my radar detector. It's never done me wrong. Downshift in a second here. Let's whip this corner. Here we go. Oh, wow. 
so it doesn't shift up for you, you'll hit the rev limiter. We'll do that again. Damn. So you'll actually hit the rev limiter. Um, before, it would force shift uh, for you. And then also, when you get slow, uh, it won't force downshift uh, as quickly unless it needs to. Like, it won't let the car die. See, it's shifting down for me now because it knows, but like it's lugging. I'm doing 20 in fourth gear right now. Before it would have been like, oh, that's, that's too shitty. Um, damn, that's crazy. It really will bounce the rev limiter now. Um, you have to shift. <laughs> Fuck, this is amazing. So that's another huge difference. Second gear from three. This feels stout, boys. It feels perk, it feels strong. Whew. Man, I am fucking loving this car. I mean, I loved it before, but I'm loving it even more now with the DSG tune. Like, I feel like the DSG and the, the uh, Jesus, those are the brightest fucking lights in the world, dude. What a chode. Anyway, um, the DSG and the ECU working hand in hand to basically accentuate each other's features, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, fuck me, man. I, I, I love this. Absolutely love this. what you want to do um, before it would be a little bit confused if you'd like tap the brake and then hit the gas it'd be like oh is he trying to downshift or upshift is he going faster or slower now it's just like it's right there with you insane just got a whole lot better and I feel like with each mod I put on here it's gonna be like I'm falling back in love with this car not that I ever fell out of love with her I've always loved her since I bought her it's why I traded the Mercedes for her. you can stop right there you drunk bitch don't pull out in front of me fuck boy <laughs> fuck boy man I love this car boys too fast I got a K band on the old scanner <clears throat> it's the KA bands you got to really worry about that's usually the popos all right now we're going home boys all right I guess I'm gonna cut here there's really nothing left to say besides damn I like it <laughs> all right guys I'll see you